Unit 7. Skeuomorphism. When art imitates life. September 15th. Though digital products are where skeuomorphism is most apparent, this design tactic isn't just found in the digital sphere. Real world objects also retain obsolete features that imitate the earlier, functional versions they were modeled on. Blue jeans, for example, have a smaller pocket that was originally intended for a pocket watch, although such watches have been out of style for a century. They also have brass rivets at pocket corners, which would have previously reinforced the seams, but are now unnecessary thanks to modern stitching techniques. The sound of a revving engine in an electric car or scooter is also skeuomorphic, as its only purpose is making the vehicle sound like its non electric predecessors. Likewise, manufacturers add visual features like Cooling grills, in order for the car not to look strange. Even early cars kept the boxy shape and wooden panels of the horse drawn carriages they were replacing. These features helped to attract potential purchasers by speaking a visual language they understood. Steve Jobs had a fair point that skeuomorphism helps people comprehend new products easily. And is thus valuable for those who are new to certain features. However, this design approach isn't universally liked. Many designers find it lazy to rely on skeuomorphism, as it restricts creativity by demanding realism. It can also result in impractical design when the features being imitated from the original item limit the new product's flexibility. This is not to mention that many people find digital skeuomorphic design elements unappealing compared to other styles. While this design approach has its uses, it also certainly has its limitations in the world of product design.